M0FXB, welcome back to my videos on the Radiology GD88. There's been new firmware released this February 2025. So if I just go menu now and go across until it says information, device info, select, and then go down to version, you'll see that I've got the latest one. Look, January 2025 is what it says. So if we go back, and I, I, I don't actually know if they've added anything because the, the data file that they've given with the information, it won't open on my computer. But what I do know is that everything's working. So with the GD88 radio, it is two radios in one. When you load the firmware, you load two radios, A and B band. So you can actually receive two hotspots at the same time, or you could have, say, your favorite repeater on the B band. And when the writing is in white... That is your CSV file because you can upload a CSV file. You've got GPS showing there as well. Also APRS analog digital and it's dual receive. You can go single screen and when you turn the volume up and down, you can go very low because a lot of people complain that you couldn't turn the volume very low. You can. When the writing comes in green, that's talker alias. If you've never heard of talker alias, this is when the information from the DMR user comes from their radio because they've turned on Talk Alios. If, the, if it's using a CSV file, then it will come through in white. So it's fantastic and sounds great. So what you'll see now on the B band, if I just go down to the B, you can control the volume separate. That's my hub net node. But at the same time, if I go to the A band, I can listen at the same time simultaneously to my, my, my DMR hotspot. Now you'll think, well, what's the point of listening to two things at the same time? Well, it's just like having two radios at the, on at the same time, which we tend to do, don't we? And you'll see there, the, it's all coming through. So I'm, see if, I'm not sure if that's a GPS lock or not. I see it's in red. Normally, I think it goes green when you've got a contact. Let's just see if we can find it. Zone, local set, parameters, tone, appendix. GPS select GPS info there's a map looks I don't know what, what that shows let's do location yeah there's no lock okay well that's okay um, if it goes green you get a lock but it does work but look at all the other functions you've got what's that one over there? FM radio and um, if, if, the, if, if I would give a eulogy for it a bit loud let's go back Go up, you've got the time, DTMF, headset or speaker. Oh, we need to choose, hmm. I think speaker and headset sounds about right, doesn't it? Like so. APRS, look, analog or digital. Not, not, there aren't many DMR radios that will do all of that. And then the usual settings, so we could be here for ages. So I really like it, but remember, this is a very advanced DMR radio. Many people will not have code plugs for this. I use the MM7DBT software for loading the firmware and for the code plug, which is that which actually works really well. Right, better go phone call, but this is what the MM7DBT. I'll put a link in the description. Seven three.